hey, yeah, I'm driving. I'm always driving when I talk to you. Um, just got off work. It's Tuesday morning, 7.57. Uh, 57 degrees out. Uh, yeah. Uh, what's going on? I went on a hunt yesterday. I intended to film it, but the road noise was so noisy uh, with cars going by. I had this whole long intro and talked about my day and how weird it was, uh, but where I was hunting, it was just a lot of traffic, so yeah, I didn't film. But here's a picture of what I found right here. Yeah, so that's all the stuff I found. Um, I got a really cool little earring. I don't, I think it's silver plate. I can see some copper underneath it, so not real. Uh, there's that handcuff key. It could be real, uh, not sure. And then some, you know, it's a bunch of pennies. It was, it was like this one little strip that, of this itty bitty park that I had. It's like the smallest park in town that has a tot lot. The tot lot gave up one penny and that big chunk of iron. Um, the rest of the park, I just did this strip of grass really on the far side. And that's where I got everything else. It's one coin after another, after another, after another. And that was in, all in one hour. So, kind of goes to show you, some places will surprise you. You never know, honestly, what you're going to be digging unless you go out there and dig. I'm pretty sure everybody else has kind of given that park up for a loss because of its size, but it had stuff. Isn't that cool? So, if in doubt, get your machine, go and swing. That is, of course, if you're a city, municipality, township, province, uh, wherever you live allows it. Because uh, I know some places you have to actually have a permit. <clears throat> or like overseas, the town council has to approve of it, things like that. Here I'm in a city that still believes in freedom and in illegal rights, so guess what, I get to dig. So, uh, you know what, we're going to pick a different park today. Uh, I haven't decided yet, but I have so many to choose from, <laughs> honestly I do. So. We're going to check out uh, whatever park this is. But for now, I still have to drive there. The nice thing is, it's overcast and there's a breeze today, but it's not like gale force winds, which is cool. Uh, yesterday, the sun was out and it actually got up to about 85 degrees. Today, it might be in the 70s. So, the sweat factor for me should be minimal. So, anyhow... Uh, I'll see you at the park. All right. Okay. I decided which park we're going to go to. I had to stop and look at me. Um, <laughs> uh, this one here, I've been to many, 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 many times, but I haven't been here recently. And kind of with the luck I've been having lately. I think it's just because, you know, it's the first few days of summer and people have been out. Um, this is one of the more popular parks people go to. Normally I detect the one side of it. Well, I'm over on the other side now. And I'm going to detect right here. There's a baseball backstop and stuff over here. Um, I can only imagine people have been playing, you know, softball baseball or whatever so we're gonna hit this area people sit there you know drop stuff money jewelry gold bars you name it sky's the limit so we're gonna hit the uh, baseball side and I might pop over the tot lot hit that up real quick and then call it a day okay got the hiccups There's some water. so uh, yeah uh, nobody's here. I see a couple old people sitting on a bench on the other side of the park. 
So I should be able to talk on camera today. Yeah. All right. So here's to good luck, good finds. And once again, I'm actually a little different level of difficulty. I'm wearing steel toed shoes. The good thing is I know what they sound like. So and it's normally when I'm walking, I'll get the interference. So yeah, let's go. All right, this is gonna be our first find. It's a 91. I'm pretty sure it's a dime. Right there. Let's unearth it. Should be pretty close to the top here. Yep, there it is. <clears throat> oh no, it's a penny. Okay. So that's our first find. We're gonna hit this line here. I just walked from my car. I'm not uh, maybe 30 feet. <laughs> so here we go. Got another target right here. And the weirdest sounding dog ever. It's like someone impersonating a dog. <laughs> All right. Nope, got a bottle cap. Oh, well. All right, this is a weird one. No idea. <laughs> no idea what it goes to. Oh well. There's like a piece of wire around here. So, I don't know. Pretty interesting. Whatever it is. Next find, a few feet away, a penny. Whatever. Two more pennies, and one of them's a 76. There's a guy named Super Drew who likes 1976 coins. So, Super Drew, if you're watching this, it's right there. There's your 76. One of the things as a relic hunter, I tend to dig iron. Yeah. <laughs> It happens. All right, that dime was every bit that deep. I'll take it. It's amazing how it's amazing how something that small can make it down so deep. But gravity will do that. And another penny. Making my way over towards the pot lot. <laughs> and we got a Lincoln key. It was right there. There's another signal over there. Let's go investigate. That one was deep iron. Uh, I already went down about six inches and well my pinpointer was just now picking it up so nah. leave that for future archaeologists. And another thing. I ended up with uh, three more coins out of that hole. That's pretty cool. So that was a 14 cent or 13 cent spill. Woohoo! Two more pennies and a button. I'll keep going. Yay! Something other than a penny. We got a quarter. Woohoo! And another dime and a penny. Woohoo! Persistence pays. Another quarter. Woohoo! And another dime. I'm getting really sweaty. <laughs> right out in the direct sun right now. And another quarter. We're doing pretty good today. Okay, as you can see, I've been sweating. Um, I'm gonna start heading to my car. I got quite a few coins. Can't wait for this roundup. Okay, well, that's the end of my hunt. I had to go pick my son up from school. Not feeling well, but I'm ending it on a dime. So, gonna head to my car, go get my boy. All right, uh, I'll see you at the roundup. All right, everybody, I've since uh, gotten sleep. Um, it's like eight in the evening. Um, yeah, here's the roundup. I decided to rinse everything off with my classifier pan today, just to make it easy. Um, we ended up with two exploded key rings. There's two. Uh, that Lincoln key, uh, the Smash Kids ring, there's some pull tabs, and uh, just some other bits of crap that's going to go in the cr trash here. But, we also have, ta-da, jump cut. 
All right, those are all our coins today. We had three quarters, six dimes, 19 pennies, and this weird alien piece of whatever it is. Still have no idea what it is. It's actually got some heft to it, but I don't think it's gold. I think it's brass. <clears throat> that's not bad for uh, about an hour and a half worth of uh, digging in a park that's been hammered by myself and at least two other detectors I know of repeatedly. So that's 75, 85, 95, dollar five, 15, 25, 35, let's see, 40, 45, 50, dollar 54. But yeah, um, just wasn't a bad hunt. Felt good to get out, like it always does. But um, yeah, just want to thank you all for watching. Y'all take care. I'm getting ready to go to work tonight. The sleep wasn't the best sleep, but look at my eye. That's uh, allergies. But yeah, thanks for coming along with me today. Uh, we'll do it again. Who knows? Can't do it today. I have to charge the dais. I forgot to throw it on charge while I was sleeping. So, uh, I don't know. We'll see about it. <coughs> Maybe we'll go out Friday. Sound good? Let's try that. All right, y'all take care. Good luck out there. Happy hunting. Stay safe and bye for now.